So you've been uh, cycling and lysing for successfully for past 10 minutes. Now it's time to get your sample and clean the machine up. And so um, you want to have your ice bucket ready with your centrifuge um, uh, tubes. And the ones we use are about 45 mils. And so you want to think about that so that you don't um, so that your sample is either you know roughly 45 mils or roughly 90 mils. Anyhow, so once you're done, what uh, you need to do is you need to bring the pressure down. So we go back to this knob and you just bring it down, turn it down to zero. And once needle touches this little pin, don't unscrew it again. And just press stop. So once you press stop, um, we just assemble this part. And so you just you take the rubber stopper off, and then now you just go like this, and just put the exhaust hose, uh, hose into the tube. And now we're just gonna start it again. And now we can basically get rid of all the sample in there, and we can run the machine dry because this pressure over here is zero. So again, remember, never run the machine dry when we have pressure here because these pistons, the lysing pistons, are lubricated by whatever is inside and they get scratched um, quite considerably um, and it's expensive to fix that if you don't have any liquid while you have this pressure up. And so basically now, uh, the goal is just to get the sample out and you can hear, you can see here, I know, I don't know if you can see or not, but the sample is out and so, you can see it's all bubbles now. And once it's all your samples out, you just press stop. Okay, and so now the lysing phase is done uh, and we just need to wash the machine. Very important step because that's how we ensure that machine stays operatable. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, we have 7X detergent here. Just give it just a light squirt and fill it up with water. And this step, the washing of the machine after is very simple to the washing of the machine before. Um, the only difference is that we do the soap. And so you put the lid on, then we take our house air hose, click it in, and wash it out. Um, and after this step, we basically go and repeat this exact procedure, but with just plain water three times. one and it's going to be quite foamy so something to keep in mind Water wash two. And you know, you cannot overwash the machine, so if in that, give it an extra rinse. Because when machine gets dirty, it gets stuck and clogged, and I have to take it apart, and it's not a happy day for anyone. And so, Keeping it clean is of utmost importance. It's also strongly enforced, so if I see you guys not keeping it clean, you can go back to sonicating. Okay, and so the last water wash is a bit different from all the other ones uh, in a way that uh, rather than just evacuating it with high pressure hose like we did before, we actually turn the pump on, so we undo the stop button and we press start. And now we have to wait for this tube to fill up with water. Remember, because we never want to bring the pressure up until everything is in liquid. And so you can see liquid starting to come through. Um, it starts coming out there in the bucket. And so at this point, we're going to bring this pressure up here to 40. 
and we're going to do here you see the cycling we're going to do 10 of those so one two three four well you can count Ten. At cycle ten, we bring it back to zero here. Stop. And then we get the lid. And we get the hose. And now we evacuate it. So, so we get rid of all the water. Okay. And so now the last step, the very last step is we do a wash in 100% ethanol and we also store it in the same ethanol and because ethanol is usually more expensive than water and ethanol is stored in here it says ethanol for multiplex we just we you don't want to fill it up with ethanol just about half at most is good um, so we do that and we do it we follow the same procedure as we just did with water so unclick start wait for the tube to fill up with water and with ethanol, it's actually a cool trick. As you know, ethanol starts coming out because the surface tension changes and the soap starts disappearing. So hopefully it should work. There you go. You can see it disappearing. So we know we're full of ethanol. And now brings the pressure to 40. And do 10 bumps. Bump 10, bring the pressure back to zero. Press stop, and we're done. So we have ethanol in the um, reservoir. So we just put the cap on. And now you wanna make sure that the machine is clean um, on top. And so usually I just take a paper towel and then the water thing, just do something like this. Give it, give it a nice wipe. And of course, if you spilled anything, wipe that too, in particular. But you know, if not, just make sure that there's no standing water or anything like that. You know, uh, a clean machine is a happy machine. So. And all right, and so this is all great. And now we just need to turn off the switch. So we just go like this and turn it off. And um, to put the lock on, you just take the lock and then you basically put it, the lock, you put it through this hole right here and then you click it in and then you change the combination and now it's locked and now you want to dump the water with the next user as a courtesy and so we're just gonna whoa all right and now we are ready for clarifying spin um, and that cell lysis with RC3 Mosflex.